<laughs> this looks like the only sea that's from like Southeast Asia, you know, this turquoise water. Welcome back to another episode from Glen on Meadow here in beautiful New Zealand. Ooh. Guys, we're in the Abel Tasman, a very popular region. It's beautiful here, guys, and we're gonna do a walk from Marahau to the Anchorage Bay Abel Tasman. All right. Like we're not taking a water taxi, there's like water taxi, there's like so many things to do here. Like seriously, in the Evil Tasman you can go hiking, you can camping, but like we skipped that and we're just gonna have a walk there to the beach. It's a big, Probably, big walk, Madela. Yeah, it's not really a hike, it's more like a flat walk awesome. and it's two and a half hours to three hours each way. So it's gonna be a That's lot it. day of walking, but we're gonna be rewarded with a beautiful beach at the end. Oh yeah. <laughs> gonna jump into the water so it honestly doesn't feel like New Zealand around here it feels like a different country it feels, it feels like, like I'm in Spain to us it feels like we're gonna we're in Spain yeah it really does with guys, the climate and the beaches and everything else guys and if you're new to our channel we're currently traveling around 10 months this beautiful country of New Zealand so if you missed any of the episodes new to our channel, check out, check the other out episodes. previous videos yeah <laughs> let's make it happen let's make it happen let's go all right guys so we're gonna actually do the four hours the four hour walk 12.4 kilometers each way that's painful. So we're here. Yeah. There's oh. a big dock site and Marahau. Yeah. And then we're gonna walk all, all the way, way up here. Coast. God, that's such a big long walk, Madeline. But uh, we will be rewarded. That's paradise. Beautiful Can you not access that? Can you not drive there? Yeah, by boat. Oh, that's all. Right, let's get moving. Oh. Time is ticking. Guys, we're just entering into the park now. We have the lovely mountains, the backdrop in the back, which we're probably gonna be climbing over on the right side over here. And then you have the lovely turquoise water with some lovely sandy enslaves like kind of little islands are in the water itself so i feel like there's lots of little sand islands within this district this area because we've seen many on the way into the tasman area so it's beautiful it honestly feels like paradise around here it's gorgeous the sun is shining it's very hot like it's very hot like so we have to be Obviously protecting ourselves with hats, sunglasses, lots of sun cream. Like you guys always recommend because New Zealand's ozone layer is so thin and extreme down this side of the world. So ready to conquer this trek. It's gonna be very long. I did not expect it to be 12 kilometers each way. Madeline got me into, into this and I didn't really want to participate in such a long walk, but here we are. Because I know Glenn doesn't want to pay $50 for a water taxi. Oh yeah, the water taxi is an option to avoid the long distance uh, walk, but yeah, I'm not gonna pay $50. It's cool the way it's designed though. Well maintained by the council here with a lovely bridge to enter into the beautiful national park. This is also where the great walks, there's actually a great walk here as well, which we only discovered there recently. So there you go. We have huts along the track. It's 60 kilometers as well. But we won't be doing that today. We're just doing a day hike. Look at this beautiful statue here. Really nicely crafted with a little weapon here. One of the Tasman people, let's say. Or one of the, the Murray tribes. Here's the beginning, guys. They have the beautiful sandy beaches here along the coast. You see all the guys, individuals doing the kayaking in the back. What a place, what a place. Paradise to be doing such a activity right now on this fine day. So the incline is beginning. This is going to be 200 meters total. So all the fern, the native trees, and the noise of the creatures in the trees. So we have the forest lookout. It's probably looking over the water into the beach. Excited to check this So How are you doing? She's looking well on this fine day. That looks like a place for swimming meadow. Oh, don't fall down the hill. This guy on the beach looking for shells, I think. It's all the little paradises when you're walking along the track, guys. These secret little beaches where you can just relax. Wind down, jump in the water, and just enjoy the nature. Wow. There is a couple of people on the track, though. Not too many. So, you know, expect to be nice and quiet while you do it. It's not too bad at all, like. Also, spoil yourself with some berries on the trees when they're in season. We have raspberries and we have blackberries here on the trees. They have these in Ireland, the exact same tree, so it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Good stuff. Watch the thorns though. A few raspberries away now. Mmm. It's too sour though. Yeah. Is it manuka? Well, like the tea tree smell? Yeah, it's a really very strong, strong smell, isn't it? It's beautiful. I love oh, it. Oh, yeah, it's so refreshing. Ah. Nice wake up call. Higher life. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff, that is. So, actually, oh. I'm really surprised, not surprised. It's a good way, you know? Like the, the path is really, really well maintained. Oh, so. Of course, great walk. Yeah. They're always looked after pretty good. 
They're not much inclined so far. So. Maybe fine. Apparently there's only like to the Angkor beach is only about 200 meter inclined, so that's almost nothing. Awesome, let's do it. There's a secret island over there in Malo. I wonder if you can actually make it over there by boat. That'd be pretty awesome. Maybe by kayak. Loads <laughs> of kayaks here. Yeah. All the kayakers down there in the water enjoying, the, enjoying their activities along the coastal line here. How beautiful. Matt, are you okay there? Glenn, I want to come back and do kayaking. Maybe we can. Several options. You can actually go hike kayaking for an hour and then do an hour walk and it's and then water taxi brings you somewhere so it's pretty cool there's a lot of options you can also check out book me they have sometimes discounts on that i really like kayaking maybe we should do oh, that you're making a way back here that's the thing yeah so guys we will be we're just here at the moment for like two days traveling with a friend and then we're making our way back back down to Queenstown but we will come back in about like three weeks yeah. Nelson is amazing so I definitely want to spend more time here hello beautiful hello how are you I love these birds they're everywhere and now in the Nelson area ah you passed that why did you boy before I didn't do anything go away why are you so aggressive? Give me Why did he point me? It's gonna bite me again. Look, it's gonna peck me. Ow! Don't! Don't! Fuck off! No! Ah. Leave him alone! Mano, he's coming. He's coming towards me. Yeah. He's a very aggressive one. He must be. He must have his. He must have high testosterone today. He's getting very aggressive. I don't want to. I don't want to get eaten. He just bit me already. Well, go away, you. Go away, go away. Bite me. Oh Jesus! Paradise Island over here. So I think we have like 60% of the way already. So we're just a bit over halfway. So this is the Steel Well Bay. Okay. So it's taking quite a while though. Yeah, it does. I didn't expect it to take so I long. Mean, 10 kilometers and then back the same way. 12, I don't. Guys, you definitely don't. 12 have to and a half. This. You can spend fifty dollars, and, the boat. and yeah. that's and there's actually a schedule, and the water taxi can bring you to different bays, and you can choose. Guys, we're taking a little detour down to small little beach down the hill here it looked absolutely beautiful from a bowl well walking past so we need to investigate i don't think a lot of people want to walk down so no, it's only down here wow that's gorgeous look at that we found little paradise meadow this is paradise isn't it this is what you're talking about meadow yeah we're missing out on this if you walk past well worth it this looks like you know you only see this from like southeast asia you know this turquoise water and honestly i didn't like something out of a movie yeah, yeah you didn't expect that this exists here in new zealand i'm like blown away once more one one more time <laughs> wow it's gorgeous there you see the that's one of the water taxis bringing people over or picking them up coming from the beach i mean they're big enough like a ferry it's another boat i think that's private wow that's so beautiful we have a bit of an overcast though but well, guys you have about 15 percent of the track left oh so one hour 10 minutes madeline this I mean, is like never ending it's less it's definitely less than oh, that jesus christ 3.5 usually maybe takes around half an hour Let's forever say, i would say half an hour to 40 minutes you have an observation beach this way madeline do you want to just continue? Just continue. Well, you should go. Yeah, a bit of march, water. March forward. I need a water break. No, you can. Guys, make sure you. You can wait till we get there. It's it's very the track is very sheltered, but like make sure always to bring enough water. Listen to the bus. Eh? The bus, yeah. Yeah, there might be huts where you can fill up water. I'm not sure. We're gonna observe. Going into the wild west here. We're at a bit of a height, so you can see into the water. But we're nearly there. The last run. At the last stretch, guys. The last stretch to the beach. I'm so excited to check the beach out. Okay, little black robin. Hello. Hello. They are not supposed to be around here. So Hello, beautiful. Hello. How are you? Oh, they're very rare. They are. They're not supposed to be around here like the, the range I mentioned. Don't have any food, sorry. Beautiful, aren't you? Yeah. Beautiful. Hello. You okay? Come here. That my cute. Yeah. You can come here. Come on, boys. Hey, curious. Oh, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Off he goes. Into the wild. 
Just talked to the ranger and he said it's all downhill now for the next 30 minutes. How are you down? Let's run, Meadow. And it's less sheltered here, so there's no. That's exposure from the sun, yeah. But we have a bit of an overcast now, makes it not as hot. You better start running downhill. Sure. Let's get moving. Loving the interesting terrain here. Actually, walking back up the mountain, we realized it's not all downhill. <laughs> it's a bit up and then down again. Yeah, Madeline got his lost, so she went a different way. <laughs> wow, that is incredible, isn't it? Are we nearly there? Are we nearly there, or what? It's so beautiful. It is. Just some, take it in, embrace it, enjoy the moment, to be honest. I really feel like we're in Southeast Asia. Yeah. It's the tropical side of New Zealand. I did not expect this from this region, though, in New Zealand. Paradise is ahead. We, we made, made it. it. Look at oh, this. there it is. There's the beach. Oh, wow. We have a bit of wind, though. It's, it's a bit of a breeze today, guys. But well, we finally made it after 12 and a half kilometers. One way. I just don't want to... I don't want to go back. <laughs> no! Maybe you can hitchhike uh, a boat, if we're lucky. Right, let's see how beautiful this beach is. Nice yellow sands over here. Incredible, incredible. Wow, incredible. What a place. We have the tour boats as well. Give you access to the place. Wow. It's a lot of kayaking, a lot of water taxis to take you back to where we started. So we're actually going into one of the huts, one of the huts which is part of the Great Walk here. So, thank you, Rosh. We have 34 bunk beds available. Nice. So let's check out the hut. That's yeah. cool, isn't it? So we're going to check this place out. Oh, that looks like it's pretty big. nice. Oh, wow. It's a lot smaller. Oh wow, it's big. It is very big. A lot of kill cool birds. You want to check the hut out? Yeah. Guys, there's the facilities where you camp and sleep for the great walks. It's really nice, really neat. It's actually really nice facilities, guys. So we're gonna check out the, the rooms there quickly. Oh, Jesus, I'm bleeding. Wow, it's nice and cozy, guys. It is. It does the job anyway. If you really wanted to stay here for the night, which is a beautiful location, if you wanted to stay. Welcome to paradise. Oh, this is really paradise. It's a funny one, isn't That's it? It's the ranger hood. That's the ranger hood over there, guys. So welcome. We are here. A Didn't I expect this. Crazy. There's a shower over here, yeah. No so I think we need to shower after. Because you don't want the salty water walking back. And your body really. Woo! What a day to be alive. Jesus. You just you would sit here all day and just enjoy it, wouldn't you? At least for a bit. If you could. I'm going to jump in guys and really enjoy this beach. This is actually paradise over here. I can't believe it. Oh. Oh my god, that was absolutely refreshing. I like, I, the way they, like yeah, I like the way they. Yeah, I like the way I like the fact that they preserve yeah. all these beautiful paradises, all these national parks. And so amazing. You know, hopefully they continue this way, and New Zealand maintains this beautiful yeah. nature within the country. So, because yeah. you can only access this place by a boat, Walking a boat or so. actually walking. Yeah, so and they're probably not allowed to build anything on it. So, no. you know, just preserve it. It's good. There's just hats and the ranger hats, and that's that's it. Yeah, yeah, for the for the walkers, you know, so for the trampers. You see a few boats and all the canoe stops down here. Yeah. So yeah. So guys, this is actually one of the ferries or the, the taxis that you can actually take uh, away from here back to the where we started. So you, literally, they just emptied the whole beach. It was full of people, and now everybody's just disappear, disappearing onto onto the boat, onto the the ferry. Ah. It's time to say goodbye to Paradise, guys. We're leaving, I'm making our way back now, 12 and a half kilometers back, so we're going to sprint through, push through, make it happen. It's probably going to be too late now by the time we get home, actually. Mm. Uh, so, that's we the story. Spent, we spent too much time here, but it was worth it. Yeah, definitely worth it, yeah. Definitely worth coming. A mini New paradise Zealand. of New Zealand. It's beautiful. So we're going for, uh, what we do when we get home? We're going for food, are we? Making a day of it. I haven't seen the bay from this perspective. It's 
lots and lots and lots of islands. Wow. Guys, we're back at the same beach we actually visited a while ago when the tide was in, but look, the tide is out now and I can't believe how beautiful it's looking right now. This is a mini paradise here in New Zealand. Wow. God. Nobody here, except one guy. Wow. Of the track, like Rasta direct, Rasta direct. In these, what are they called again? These so the cas cas I cascade, know. Cas I don't know. So yeah. yeah. The water turns to blue in the evening. It's insane. I think it's better when the sun is going down. Yeah. Everything just looks more beautiful. So After the last. I have to this. Say we, we've done quite a lot of walks now, but this is really tough. See hey, now. If you're going the same way back, we're That's quite exhausted. That's 24 kilometers total. So Mad. maybe consider doing a taking a water taxi. <laughs> yeah, I really recommend that on the way back. A true paradise. There's the car park in the distance. Ah, struggling. Oh, we're nearly there. But look at this. It's absolutely beautiful. Madam. Beyond words. Keep going. I want to get back to the car. Oh, I'm very exhausted. I know. Come on. I'm really excited for dinner. That's the longest trek in. In terms of like distance, distance, I think We've it's going to be 24 kilometers. Ooh. We have ever done. A <laughs> uh, baby one we found. I haven't seen a baby one before. Oh, How beautiful! Where? Whole family. Where? Baby chicken. No way! Oh, that's the whole family. Hello, baby chicken. There's another baby over there. I know, it's so gorgeous. Hello! Oh, he's so adorable. We found a whole family They're here. They're fun, funny boards, aren't they? Uh, hello! Oh, the poor chicken. The poor chicken. Aww. Right guys, we just made it to the car park. Almost. The last stretch. The last few Crossing the, the bridge now that enters into the forest. And the toilet is completely out now. Ah, uh, look at all the birdies! The wackers! Oh, look at them birds! Hello! Beautiful birds everywhere! Isn't it? Guys, I don't think you can see them because it's a bit far away, but they're making a very interesting sound. There he is there, look. With the red... The red beak. The red face. So there we go, last stretch guys, cross the bridge. Oh yeah. It's gorgeous evening. It's actually much better to walk in the evening time when the sun is going down. Everything just looks more beautiful. Yeah, we did. Walking over the swamp land. Oh, the tide was actually up earlier on, yeah. And now it's actually, uh, it's gone out and you can see everything on the ground now. Everything that people dropped into the, into the river. <laughs> what insects are you talking about? In these holes, if you walk. Oh my God, look at them. Yeah, the insects going into the holes. Hey guys, you have millions of little uh, crabs coming out of the ground. As soon as they hear your footsteps, they straight into the, they go straight on the ground into the hole. So, it's so funny to watch. It is funny. They're trying to run away. As soon as they hear the footsteps, they're straight into the little holes. You can see all the little holes in the sand. There's so many of them. I didn't realize there were so many crabs present around here. Unbelievable. Guys, I've never seen this before. Keeper. Keeper. It's really beautiful. So no rock graffiti, so don't create anything with rocks to create shapes. I've never seen that before. No, wow. that's the first time. That's the first time. So you not allowed kind of to touch yeah, and the rearrange rocks. rocks. Yeah, that's an interesting rule. Even though you're not damaging rule. anything, you're just yeah. moving them. But like yeah, I, I respect the rules. They want to preserve everything the way it is here. It truly is, because it does look very untouched out there, guys. You have all the bird civilization out there enjoying themselves. See. It's so beautiful. Look guys, I really started loving birds. Like look at these how amazing and diverse. New Zealand birds is the here. country of birds. I'm really surprised. It's amazing. <laughs> loving the birds. Guys, we just got to the pizza the caf the cafe. Um the car park and there's a pizza place here. Wood fire pizza. Wow, in the middle of nowhere. Wood fire pizza. What a place to have wood fire pizza. Where's the car? 
I forget where the car is. Sorry? Where's the car? There's a car over here. No, the car is down there. Ah, so maybe we can get some pizza. Guys, we're just actually going to stop into this place here. The Park Cafe, the fourth and the last. We have wood fried pizza, so we're going to give this a bash and see what the food is going to be like. Because I'm absolutely starving after that walk. 24 kilometers, guys. We think we deserve something nice after that. Oh, the pizza looks good. Good place, though. Nice layout. Really surprised to see a restaurant in the middle of nowhere here. Oh. On, at the at the track. Are you surprised to see this open? So what's on the menu, madam? Thank you very much. All right. Yeah. Absolutely starving, madam. We got some fish chowder. That's Clean, uh, Clean got some fish chowder here. I got two two things. I got the fish chowder. Of the garlic bread. Clean is, one is not enough. It's actually the special today, so we have the $21. special. Twenty-one dollars, yeah. Fish chowder. I can't go wrong with that. And also ordered a nice pizza as well. So two meals for me today, tonight, to celebrate the big walk today. So yeah, that's a big celebration. It is. And you're waiting for your pizza, aren't you? Yeah. 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 Madeline is about to steal my muscle from my my food. You don't like it this way. So you're gonna taste it for me then, yeah? Oh, yeah. Give me your impression. Of the muscle. It's very hard. Tell me all about it. I would just love to hear your opinion. I think it's good. Oh, really yeah. That's great. You're so into pizza. Yeah, thank you pretty much. Sorry, thank, thank you. you. Oh, yeah. Pato, round two. Pizza. Somebody's pretty happy. This is my round one. So. I think a salmon. No, just is a ham. Ah, pretty good. Yeah. Looks nice and crusty. I mean, not the best pizza I probably had, but it's good. It's good. It's good. German honesty, you know. You have to be honest. You can't just pretend it's good. Right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. A bit random, but nice walk, all the same, and some delicious food. Too. I mean, the, the food was okay. I mean, after a good trek, you just want a food and you don't want to you know stress yeah, about going far. somewhere so, that so was this great. is right in a doorstep which we did not expect to yeah. see in the, in the middle of a yeah, national that, park here that's so. amazing but probably not my favorite pizza <laughs> I have to say that but anyways thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and we will catch you in the next episode bye alright guys as you can see we're on the other side now and this is the view you would see from the uh, top so you have a 360 degree view